In this video, we'll talk you through the installation of the 7220 Digital Door Lock. This guide is for professional installers or advanced DIYers only. So, if that's not you, you might want to get a professional in to help. Make sure the door has been blown out fully of machine swarf. Any extra metal filings could short out the lock. Next, make sure the escape function screws are in the inside of the lock body. Then, set the handing of the lock, pull and twist to change direction. Then, remove the plastic keeper. Now you're ready to fit the lock body into the door. Feed the cable through the middle hole to the inside. Make sure the cable can move freely and doesn't get trapped or pinched once the lock body is screwed in. Insert the white cable through the top hole and fit the keypad into its correct position. Mark 13mm proud of the internal side of the door on the tail bar. Trim the tail bar on this mark and make sure there are no rough edges. Insert the spring in the drive bar hub and then insert the drive bar in the hub. Now fit the keypad onto the door ensuring that the tail bar is vertical. Then fit the mounting plate on the inside of the door to hold the external keypad in place. Feed the white cable through the top slot and then the black cable through one of the smaller holes as shown. Choose the correct length of screws for the door. For a 40mm door, these will be the shortest length provided. Tighten the screws, making sure not to tighten them too much, as this could compress the door and bind the lock. Next, take some pliers and check the operation of the bolt on the inside to make sure that it throws easily. Also check that it can't be pushed back in each time. If the bolts can be pushed in, you'll need to remove the external keypad, turn the tail bar 180 degrees and put it back on again. Plug the black and white cables into the circuit board as shown. Turn the internal locking assembly so that the hole for the tail bar is vertical. Push as much as you can of the white cable back into the door cavity and make sure the cables won't be pinched when you fit the internal assembly. Once fitted, test that the internal snip turns freely. Now, attach the internal assembly to the mounting plate with the six screws provided. And also, test the keys in the lock, ensuring that the bolt can't be pushed back in each time. Finally, insert the four AA alkaline batteries provided. Make sure the auto lock button is sticking out and the green color should be showing on the lock unlock switch. The white stripe pocket must be used to ensure the correct clearance for the bolt. Hold up the white stripe pocket and the stripe to the frame and screw both into place using the screws provided. If you have any problems with the installation of the strike, a strike kit for aluminium frames is available separately. This provides a rolled lip and includes required packers for the fitment. If the door handle is not working, you may have forgotten to turn off the child safety function. To turn it off, simply press the button in and use an Allen key to lock it in place. Never try and disassemble the lock yourself to fix a problem. This could cause the lock to stop operating and will also affect your warranty. If the door isn't shutting properly, it might be that your bolt and your strike aren't aligned. Check the alignment and adjust accordingly.